Look, I, I want you to promise me something. That, um, that whatever I tell you, that it won't make a difference. And that you still love me. I can't do that. Please, Vic. I'm not going to make a promise that I can't keep. But right now, I love you. And it would take a lot for that to change. Well, there's something that I should have told you when we first got together. About me, about... about who I've been with. There's been other people in my life, Vic, before you. And? You weren't exactly my first. No, not just other people. Another, another man. I guess it's a bit of a shock. Yeah, it's a shock. Well, I just wanted you to know the truth. So why now? Because when I think of the thousands of times we've poured our hearts out to each other and what we've said, you'd think maybe it would have come up before. Well, Ethan wasn't here before. What's he got to do with anything? He was mates with, with the guy I slept with. So you knew him before he came here? I guess. Sort of, vaguely. So is that why you're telling me? In case he did first? No, that's not how it is. Then how exactly is it, Luke? Because I need the whole story. The point is, I went back to his place and Ethan was his housemate. So, yeah, I met him, but the following morning when everything was a bit awkward and I was just trying to get out there quickly. Sounded like you are a real catch. It's what I meant by vaguely knowing him, that's all. And it never came to anything? You and the flatmate? No, it was a one-night stand. But then Ethan came here, he recognised me. So I thought I should tell you. Because it might come out otherwise. Right. So what now? Are we cool? No. Of course we're not cool. How long have you... have you known you were bi? Well, I'm not. I swear, I'm straight. No, no, I've been through this too many times before. Because I was Aaron's first, when we were teenagers. Yes, Aaron, who was gay. And boy, did that cause problems before he came out. And then there's Robert. Yeah, I know. Who ruined his marriage because he was lying about who he was. I'm sorry, you can't compare me to them. Yes, I can. Yes, I can, because not only have you lied, you're pretending that you haven't. And that's kind of worse. That was the last time you were... With a man? Yeah. The last and only, that's what I'm saying. It was years ago, that's not who I am now. But see, Robert used to go on all the time about how much he loved Chrissy. <laughs> Meanwhile, he was having an affair with Aaron. Oh, who's in love with? Let's not forget that. No, I'm not like Robert. I would never do that to you. Unless you're in denial about it like he was. Because I can't get my head around the fact you've never told me until now. When would I have brought it up? When exactly would have been a good time to mention it? Any time would have been good. What, like when we first got together? After everything that happened with Lee? Or maybe when my mum turned up to live in the village? Why would I want to make things more complicated? As opposed to them being really simple now. I'd fallen for you, Victoria. Why would I want to throw my past in the works? That part of my life is over. It's not just about the lying. And the betrayal. I have to think about what I need. Not just for me, I've got Harry to think of too. Come on, Vic. You've got to get past this. It's not that easy. I can't believe you're making so much of this. All I've done is tell you the truth. It's not just about that. It's the timing, how long it took you to do it. Yes, I know, I should have told you sooner. I'm sorry. I'm not sure being sorry is enough. Well then tell me what is. Tell me what I can do to fix it. I don't think you can. Meaning? I don't, I don't know. <laughs> well, now look who's not being honest. Look, I knew this would change things. It's exactly what I was afraid of. Well, what did you expect? Because all I can think now is what else is he keeping from me? It's like I said before, I'm worried that this is just you being in denial. Well, if that's the case, then maybe somebody's got to do what's necessary for both of us. What are you saying? If you want to finish it, let's finish it. 
Let's do it now before it gets more painful. You're breaking up with me. Well, I guess that's up to you. <laughs>